Hello everyone and welcome back. If it's your first time here, please take a moment to subscribe and give me a follow on Instagram. The Robot Overlords appreciate it. Today is a little bit of a different video. Today, you're actually seeing me. Hi. Hello. For my first video of 2023, I wanted to share the goals that I've set for myself this year and give you an idea of where I would like this channel to go, and also get some feedback from everyone. My collection so far pales in comparison to other knife channels and enthusiasts out there. However, I know that this is just the beginning and I hope to really expand my collection this year. And that being said, I wanted to share with you all some of the things that I would like to try to get this year. First off is a multi tool. I am the classic case of, I will figure out how to do it myself. While I struggle with some height restrictions, I am not above climbing on counters. That being said, I'm always trying to find where I put all of my tools and screwdrivers. I saw a multi-tool that was decently sized and something that I would like to try to get this year, the SOG PowerPoint. I keep hearing about this brand a lot and I'm interested in actually getting a giant mouse this year. I have been looking at the Nibbler, the Sonoma, and the Jetland. These are definitely more on the pricier side considering they're made of premium materials, but maybe it'll be something that I can swing soon. I've worked in retail for a long time, and boy, let me tell you, the cardboard cutters that they give you are just terrible. Horrible handles, blades that are cheap, and they dull really fast, but hey, it's retail. I don't know if they know or understand what is actually going to help you cut down massive boxes of cardboard. That being said, I am a monster when it comes to breaking down boxes but I need a knife that will cut through the cardboard easily and not dull or break the tip. So I will be on the lookout and possibly do a review video on a few knives that would be great with cutting through cardboard. I love customizing everything about EDC sets. And while my current EDC set has been my CVV Elementum, I wanna create more colorful EDC sets to share with you all. I think of it like a place to start with finding a set that you like and that you will carry every day. I would love to try to do my first giveaway. I have a Dessert Warrior Suvive Elementum with a matching knife maintenance pad as well. And I'm also currently uh, in the market to try to find some more things to go with this set as my giveaway. So, there it is. Still in the package. The dog thinks that they're treats. Uh, so I want to do some more things to uh, expand on this set, like doing a matching bead or other EDC items as well. I'd like to also do this when the channel reaches about a thousand subscribers. So once I hit that goal, definitely be on the lookout if you want some dessert. I would love to start my what would so and so from a video game carry. So for example, would Mario carry a Nipex plier since he's a plumber and uh, I'm a nerd when it comes to video games So I think it would be a fun thing to do as a side series if anybody's interested If not, I'm still gonna do it because reasons So one of the last goals that I have for myself this year is to actually think about starting a patreon So I have ideas of what I would like to do and what benefits that I would give to the patrons, such as like access to a discord, early access to new merch or swag that I work on, live chats, hangouts once a month, etc. So nothing is set in stone with that. Uh, I'm still kind of working on a few designs for stickers and patches, uh, but if it's something that people are interested in, it would actually really help me move this channel forward into something that can reach more people, get more women into EDC, and others in the EDC, but also help with, you know, if there's a knife you guys want me to review, I could look into to purchasing that as well. So the overall reason I started this channel, I wanted to kind of refresh why. So I looked at a lot of knife reviewers and EDC groups online, and I noticed that most of them are mainly male dominated. So I started this channel to try to help broaden the appeal of EDC preparedness with more women and kind of make it more inclusive for everyone. But I also wanted to help educate people and make it easy for them to get good information. 
Sometimes you have to kind of dig to understand why Sandvik 14C 28M steel is better than 15CR 13MOV, for example. So that being said, I wanted to share some highlights from this year. And one of my close friends who has started her own little farm in the recent years has realized that she needs more tools. So I was able to share the knowledge that I've gained over the past year and she's getting more and more comfortable with understanding the differences between the different knife, sh knife shapes and steel. She recently felt comfortable uh, with buying a fun knife for herself because of her love for donuts. She bought herself one of the Civivi Elementums in the Dessert Warrior Edition from Blade HQ. And I was so happy to hear that she was delighted and even though it was a blue co coated blade and will fade over time, and those sprinkles might also fade, but she seems happy with her first purchase, which makes me happy. Another thing is that one of my followers uh, watches my videos uh, with his daughters. And I think it's a great way to bond and I hope that my videos can can help them out and learn more about ADC and, and you know, it's a great way to enjoy sarcasm as well. Sarcasm is great. And lastly, I was thankful enough to be invited to join an EDC group chat this year, which has a lot of very cool women who are part of it. Some of you may already be familiar with them, some of them are also YouTubers, but if you can take a moment to follow the page and see all of the awesome things that these women have done, I'll add the link over here. So that's it. That's all I got. I try to end with something inspirational, something nice, because everything is just kind of bananas lately. So my inspiration for you all is to be kind to yourself. Easy, right? It can be difficult when you feel the pressure of new year, new me, but it doesn't have to be something that's an immediate change. Just take your time and be patient with yourself. So if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel or share my channel with your friends. I would really appreciate it. It helps the channel grow and can help more people find out about me. And the sooner I get to 1,000 subscribers, the sooner I can do my first giveaway. So thank you everyone for taking the time to make it to the end. My self-esteem thanks you. It's the SOG PowerPoint. PowerPoint. <laughs> PowerPoint. Oh, that's great. Uh. It says matching knife. You have knife that matches the old mentor. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't write this. I mean, I did, but I didn't.